The World War II Memorial in DC is imposing and serious, and it should be. But it would be a mistake to forget the joke that helped keep GIs going. It was amazingly similar to a modern meme. And his name was Kilroy. Soldiers scrawled this face, and Kilroy was here all around the world. The joke was that Kilroy, peeking out, had been everywhere before the GIs got there. He greeted them in Okinawa and Casablanca, and in Sicily, he cheered them to Berlin. Everywhere soldiers went, seeing unfamiliar landmarks and reading signs in languages they couldn't speak, they graffitied the same picture and signed the same name on every available surface. He was a joke, but he was also a kind of assurance, a hero who'd been there before and still made it out okay. We don't really know where Kilroy came from. The pictures showed up around the world. In England, he was Mr. Chad, where he complained about skimpy rations. At some point, that guy was mashed up with the phrase Kilroy was here. Who was Kilroy? The legends that a shipyard inspector named James J. Kilroy wrote Kilroy was here on all of his inspected work. Soldiers saw it and then turned it into a joke that showed up on bomber wings and became latrine literature. James Kilroy won a contest for being the real Kilroy, but eh, Kilroy was bigger than him. There were rumors Stalin was spooked by Kilroy graffiti at Potsdam, and after the war he popped up in movies, whiskey ads, and really weird novelty songs. Kilroy was here. We want Kilroy. And even Edgar Hoover admits he's quite a mover. Kilroy was here. <laughs> Find Kilroy! Today, Kilroy's faded from bathroom walls. But if you go to the World War II Memorial, past a fountain you can't make wishes in, near an area that's closed for construction, you can peer through a fence and see that even in this place, Kilroy got here before you. <laughs>